What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Should talk about Scream Six in this video here today. We got word today that we have a new cast member joining the ranks with the other cast members that we know will be involved with Scream Six. Uh so the new cast member as it as it were first was reported through Deadline is that Henry, I believe it's pronounced Kacherny is is one of the uh, latest cast members to come on board this project. Now, Henry was in ready or not he was a part of that uh family trying to kill samara weaving's character in that movie i haven't watched the movie recently so that's all i remember him like i do remember he him doing an amazing job with his performance with his character so knowing that they're bringing in a ready or not star i know has already started up the speculation that samara weaving might be next i'm on that bandwagon too i think that there's a chance now that samara weaving will be back just because he's in the movie not that that's really much to go off of but it's like okay are they going to bring in another star from ready or not and of course the star many people would want is samara weaving now as far as like who henry is portraying no idea i've seen people speculate that they think he might be playing a professor at the college that tara chad and mindy are attending and i can see that being most likely he could be playing somebody's father maybe this is kirby's dad or something like that maybe this is someone's someone's uh significant other maybe this is gail weathers new boyfriend in the movie you know there's so many different things that could be on the table for who this who this actor could be portraying in the movie given how much more secretive they are this time around because literally all we know is that this movie is set in new york we have melissa barrera back we have jasmine savoy brown back we have mason gooding back jenna ortega hayden panettiere courtney cox uh dermont moroni we know is going to be in the movie we also found out about J jack champion joining liana liberato devin nakota and josh shigara last week so all we know is that we have this cast that continues to grow set in new york the, the four survivors from Woodsboro are, are, are presumably going to be at the center of the movie. Ghostface, of course, will be stalking them. And the movie is going to, of course, be your traditional screen movie as far as that's concerned. We don't know anything else really specifically outside of that. So he could be playing anyone. He himself, of course, could end up being Ghostface in the movie. He's already been a villain in one of their movies. So, I mean, will it strike? Are they going to do the same thing twice? We'll see uh, if he ends up being the killer in the movie then i would hope that somehow he is connected to sam and tara of course and that there's some type of backstory going on that we learn maybe more with sam carpenter because i've also touched on in previous videos how i would love for them to explore the character of sam carpenter a little bit further maybe dive into some of that criminal history that was kind of teased between an interaction she had between herself and judy hicks and some of her own self-admission when she was confessing some stuff to tara in the hospital uh, talking about how she got her hands on every single drug and how she got in trouble and then of course again the interaction she had with judy hicks which really wasn't telling us much other than that there's some tension between them so it's like okay sam what have you done what is your history maybe again we find out some more of that in scream six we explore that maybe that ties into the motive if henry ends up being the killer in the movie maybe he's a relative of someone sam has wronged in the past and they want revenge and now he's here on campus because again this he i do imagine that most likely he'll be playing a college professor and he of course will have a lot of scenes where he's interacting with tara carpenter chad mindy and of course being their professor on campus that's an easy in to target her and then also draw in her her sister who is your actual target sam carpenter if again this movie ends up going down a route in which we have a ghost face killer trying to avenge a loved one that's connected to a past crime that sam carpenter committed earlier in her teenage years after she found out she was billy loomis's daughter uh again nice to have him on board i'm assuming we'll find out some more things about the movie as production continues while filming continues i meant to say melissa barrera did share a, she did share an image over on her instagram story recently of like a her hand with blood covered in it now given that it was in broad daylight people have, have already started speculating are we going to get another broad daylight kill whose blood is that on their hand now i've also seen people speculate that it might be jasmine savoy brown's character of mindy now again if Mindy dies in the movie, then of course I would imagine it's going to be something that's kind of like an homage to her uncle's exit from Scream 2 since, you know, the Meeks family made it out of the first outing with Randy surviving the first movie. They mirrored that with them surviving Scream 5, which is in this 
iterations their first outing so then of course the safe thing to presume would be they're gonna die in their first sequel which again if mindy dies it honestly wouldn't be too shocking and i imagine it would be done in a way that's mirroring what they did with randy in scream 2 not that there's gonna be a van involved or anything like that but again the fact that melissa barrera shared that image on her instagram and it's got a it's, it's just her hand covered in blood in broad daylight it's like okay she must have found a dead body one or she got attacked or uh, the other third thing that it could be sam carpenter herself just got killed but most likely she found a dead body <laughs> if the dead body ends up being mindy i won't be too shocked again only because going off of a formula that they could be following the meeks would be exiting their sequel just like how their uncle exited his sequel so if they die in scream six i wouldn't be too shocked because of that because it indicates to me that there's a formula possibly being followed there as it pertains to them paying homage even further to randy in their next outing which in this case what better way than to kill off another meeks character honestly i i want them to play up the idea of who do you love more with us because i know there's kirby fans and mindy fans they want them to interact it's going to be very fun to see if they play that up to the to the fact where they're having the audience question which character do i value more which character character do i not want ghostface to hack off the most do i love mindy more or do i love kirby more or you know they could kill them both that's a possibility too i just don't think that it would be too shocking if it is mindy who ends up going because of the fact that she was indeed i guess the closest thing to randy in the in the fifth movie so of course the safe thing then to presume if they're following a pattern would be she's going to die in scream six which i would imagine would end up being a glorious death if it happens but again the major thing that we found out today was about henry joining the cast of scream six if you haven't seen ready or not or if you or if you are more familiar with him from other projects, uh, let me know down in the comment section below if you're excited about his participation in Scream 6. What character do you want to see him playing in the movie? What role do you think he's going to be fulfilling? Do you think there's a chance? Well, of course there's a chance. Do, do you think he will be Ghostface by the time we near the end final act of this movie before the credits roll? If so, what do you think his motive will be? Or do you think he'll just be a minor appearance in the movie? Because that's also something that could be the case. It could be a minor appearance. Let me know all that down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You can never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.